So today we got an announcement that uh, it really wasn't too big of an announcement, actually, as far as being posted on Twitter or anything like that. But the Trello board actually changed the roadmap of the Z1 uh, BR that they have put out for us to be able to see. It says that there will be a big update on October the 17th. Now, I do think that this will be an update going to test. This won't be immediately going to live, obviously. This probably has a lot of things that needs to be changed about it when it comes out. They'll have to do a lot of experience extensive testing before it goes to live but optimize z2 map preseason three style movement and animations season three which is kind of a question mark on that one i don't really know what they mean by that one a new event challenge which is called fragments and they're making all items tradable bringing back and retiring weapons and a hands up emote some of this stuff is kind of weird but i do want to go over it all today so first off optimize z2 map now they did originally say jason made a tweet and said that he could bring back either the z2 that we last had which is full of pois and stuff that most people don't want or he could wait and do an optimize z2 so I think they're doing an optimized Z2, and it's supposed to be based around the PlayStation 4 map, which I don't know. That's kind of a yikes. I don't know what they're going to do, but it hopefully will be a non-POI Z2 that we had, you know, preseason 3-ish that you're seeing on screen here. I am excited for this. This is probably the most excited I've been for any update that they've done so far because I do want Z2 pretty bad. You know, people kind of harp and say, you wanted Z1, and then you asked for Z2 immediately. Why'd you do that? Me, personally, I played. 300 hours on z1 i didn't have that much time on it and i didn't really ever push like hey i'm i really want them to bring out z1 like i was excited when z1 came out but i didn't push for them to bring it out after that they have preseason style movement and animations preseason three movement and animations this one also is a really really good thing that they're doing and you know a lot of people in the community have pushed that one a lot and i am excited for them to change the movement because like i've said in my previous videos the movement is very annoying right now it's very slow it's clunky it doesn't feel right and the animations don't look as good either when you watch old preseason three animations you can see your fist were up in the air rather than your fist being to your side you ran a lot faster it was just overall a lot smoother and better feeling you know time playing on that old movement than it is the new movement so i am excited for them to do that and people are asking me on twitch you know they're like uh are they gonna bring back everything they're gonna bring back the fist up in the air stuff like that like if it is preseason if they say they're bringing preseason three style movement and animations it should be it to a if not very very close like they did with the recoil at the beginning and then they had to adjust it a little bit it'll be pretty dang close and if not they'll just adjust it and get it to where it needs to be but it will be basically preseason three style movement when it does come out but that is why we do test things is to see if it is correct or not to what it originally was now season three not to be confused with preseason three is the next season so before then we will have the uh showdown that i announced the other day they will be doing the showdown during season two they said it'll probably be close to the end of this so sometime between now and October 17th probably in early to you know uh, early October is when you will see them have that showdown it is going to be weird because they will have the showdown on Z1 and then they will immediately basically transition into Z2 but it is cool to see you know the maps change and I don't know if they're going to get rid of Z1 like I said a lot of people have asked me should they get are they going to get rid of Z1 or are they just going to scrap Z1 they worked on it for like a year and now they're going to get rid of it and bring back Z2 they're definitely not going to get rid of it you know originally when they changed from z1 to z2 they just completely scrapped z1 and that's why they had to rebuild the entire z1 and it took so long but now they'll probably just keep it on file because you know it was a major slip up and a huge meme that they just completely deleted z1 and had to rebuild the whole entire map so i don't think they'll be making that mistake ever again i know daybreak makes a lot of mistakes but i don't think that they'll make that mistake again like they did last time now the next up is the event challenge fragments i don't know anything about that so i'm not going to really cover that too much but after that it's make all items tradable now as you know there's tg pants there's tg shirt there's the old z1 items and they're all untradable they're, they're locked to your account you can't trade them and a lot of people buy accounts in order to get skins but they did say they'll make all items tradable at this date and a lot of people are excited for that maybe people don't play the game anymore maybe people want to buy z1 skin because they didn't play z1 a lot of people want to buy the kringles helmet i know that much but i did see someone on twitter not an actual you know daybreak employee not jay saw anything like that but somebody on Twitter did actually say that they were only going to be letting you sell one untradeable item, which is really weird. You know, uh, like not one just like you sell only your TG pants, but one of each. So like a lot of Z1 accounts have, you know, 30 plus of the, you know, the Kringles helmet and like 30 plus of the, uh, 
Uncle Sam helmets, stuff like that. So if you have all those and you made them all go into the market, it would really oversaturate it and everybody would have one. Plus you have friends, you know, that also have played on Z1, but you didn't, they would send you one for free and it would really just mess up the market. So I think you know that's what they mean is that you'll only be able to sell one of each item so if you have 20 of the kringles helmets you can only sell one of them to keep them more rare still uh, i don't really know how they're going to work that out and i have not seen if that is an official statement or not i don't know if it is but that's what i saw people saying on twitter so that's all i'm going off of don't hold me accountable to that one. now bring back and retire weapons now this one's a big one this one's one that also excites me quite a bit that means my 1911 should be coming back i don't know if they also will bring back the r380 people were you know kind of mixed on this one that I've talked to in my stream uh, a lot of people actually would like them to bring back the R380 me personally I never liked the R380 because mainly the R380 was a terrible weapon back in the day I a bow and arrow which one shot to the head a bow and arrow was a one shot to the head, but the R380 was a two shot to the head, and that still never made sense to me. It did not one tap to the head. You know, it was an okay gun. It was fun to mess around with. It was fun to troll with, but it was not a good gun, so I don't really want the R380 back that bad. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think, you know, you would like the R380 back, whether or not you would, but me personally, I don't think the R380 was a great gun. You know, it could be fun to bring back for the nostalgia, but other than that, it was just, a, you know, a pretty shitty weapon. But the 1911, I actually would really like to have back. I was watching clips, you know, on stream the other day about uh, of the 1911 clips I had back in the day, different shots that I hit. You know, it's in my montages and stuff from back in the day. And the 1911 was a really good gun. It was really accurate. It was fun to use off spawn, and it was a really reliable weapon for the most part. I just really enjoyed the 1911. So I would like to see it come back. And it also says retire weapons. And you know what we're all rooting for? We want rid of that MP7. We want rid of the Hellfire. Even Doc, you know, Doc played the game this week a couple of times, and the first thing that he did when he spawned into a game is he picked up a Hellfire, and he said, uh, this, this gun is still in the game. Oh, they got this game, this weapon in the game. Like, and nobody wants the Hellfire. Nobody ever wanted the Hellfire, and we still don't. I know I have some PlayStation players watching, maybe, and they don't really understand the whole PC side of things, but we have kept it simple. We have kept it to the pistols and a shotgun, a AK, and an AR, and we have kept it that way for years, and that's the way we want it to stay. Now, PS4, you know, you guys have a, sh you know, it's a plethora of weapons. You have all kinds of guns in your game, but us, personally, we don't like the Hellfire. We don't want it, and that's why we'd like to see it retired at this time, and then I'm hoping that's what they mean by retire old you know retire weapon and the last on their list is the hands up emote i don't really know what they mean by this i think it's supposed to be an old emote coming back but i can't think of an emote that has your hands up in the air that i you know actually can remember anyway i might be wrong i might be just being a complete noob here and you guys might go make fun of me in the comments but they might just be an entirely new emote i'm not really sure what they're talking about here but the main focus is z2 will be back at least on the test by october 17th and we get the preseason three style movement and animation so i'm looking really forward to that i'm actually extremely excited to get to play on z2 again and i do hope that it's non-poi version you know the the version that has better fps the version that is not oversaturated with pois and it's overall just a better map i really enjoy z2 pre all the POI updates, so pre-season three or back, you know, any time between then can be really good for the game, uh, you know, uh, not only just because it's a good map, but because it runs better. Like I said, after they added POIs, the more POIs they added, the worse the FPS got, and I just really, you know, if people can't run the game smoothly, at least at 60 FPS, if not at more, then the game is not going to be fun for a lot of people, and most of these clips you see on screen, I'm getting 80 to 100 FPS, and this was back before I up upgraded my PC to from an i5 and a 960. Nowadays, I get probably 180 FPS or so, but in these clips, I'm getting like 100 to 120. And nowadays, I have a 1080 and an i7 6700K. And at this time, I had an i5 6600K and a 960. So the map not only looked better and was better to play, but it also ran a lot smoother because there was not as many POIs bogging down the FPS. 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Go comment what you're most excited for from this update. And if you haven't already, I say this a lot, but I if you haven't already, go check out my Twitch. I'll have that link down in the description. I try to stream every single day playing H1 and different stuff like that. Mostly just H1. So if you do want to come check me out, I will be streaming today after you're watching this video. I should already be live when you're watching this. If not, I will be live at some point while you're you know in the next little bit. So come check me out if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.